morning. It's 8.07, time to get the day started. The day usually starts with taking Sochi out, but it's really cold this morning, so we're gonna wait until the sun comes up overhead. Then we'll take a little stroll. Oh, you're, no, no, and you're not a lap dog. No, oh, oh. I always have a lot of people, family and friends, say that they're not really sure how I get everything done in a day, and I really don't get everything done in a day, but today I'm gonna take you through a day in the life of a stay-at-home creative, and you'll get to see a little bit about what I do and how I spend my time, and also how I waste my time, if I'm going to be totally honest. So it is Thursday, October 24th, 2019. I was originally gonna film this earlier in the week and my mom came to visit from out of state. So I ended up being a little preoccupied with her visit, but the first part of every day is pretty boring. I uh, mostly eat breakfast after I drop Evie off at school and then I clean up the kitchen because this is where I spend a lot of work time regardless of what I'm working on, so. I'm gonna eat and I'll check back after things are a little bit more tidy here. I finished my oatmeal, but not my tea yet, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look in my planner. That is glitter all over my table. That's left from a project that my mom did with Evie. I spend a lot of time in the morning with my planner, just laying out what I need to do. That's next week's spread. This is this week, and I've already written down oops, written down a couple things that I need to do. You can see I did not get any of my goals done uh, Monday, Tuesday, or much of Wednesday when my mom was here. It's not that I didn't do anything, it's just I forgot to write it down. So I'm just gonna write down a couple things here, and then I'm going to get to work. this week, unless I work it in today. Maybe it'll be part of this video. So I wrote down a couple things that I need to do and I always have to stop myself because I tend to over plan what I can accomplish in a single day. So I'm trying to get better about that. I only have five and a half hours before Evie gets home. Some of the stuff I can do after she gets here, but usually after I pick her up, I end up getting her home, we do her homework, we spend a little time together, then I make dinner, and that's pretty much the rest of the evening. So most of my work needs to be done before she gets home. In addition to my weekly page spread that I have, that I made, I also keep a monthly calendar that helps me keep track of everything that I need to do um, I try to write down my social media stuff so that I can keep track of how frequently I'm posting, but I missed the last couple Instagram updates. Okay, it is 9 o'clock and the kitchen is clean except for the pile of craft supplies on the counter that those are projects that need to be finished before that gets put away. So the next thing that we're going to do is take the dog out. Are you excited? Come on. So just sit. Good girl. It is 9.30 now. We just got back from the walk and it's really humid out today, weirdly, so now my hair is a frizzy mess. But now that most of the major housework is done, uh, I finish the rest of the little stuff after Evie gets home. So the next step is going to be sitting down and working on my current writing project.
this process is that I'm on the second pass of editing book five before I give it to my editor. And I can spend hours combing through it and really only change just a few things. So it doesn't always feel like I'm writing as much as I should be writing because I'm not really adding new content so much as spending hours refining what's already there. And I know it's a really important part of the process and it'll be worth it in the end, but it's still frustrating to not see things changing or developing as I'm going along because it's so much time. It is 11.21. At this point, I just finished editing two and a half chapters, and uh, I've got 17 pages left to go in this manuscript. I still need to find a way to add about 5,000 words. Um, I lost a character somewhere in there, and I'm trying to figure out where to put her plot threads because she's in the next book, and if she's not in this one, then it's going to be really confusing to suddenly jump forward an entire book without having a character in it. So I'm trying to work her back in, and I've got about 5,000 words more content that I need to find places for, so I may need to back up a little bit and add something else in there. It's really cold in here, so I stole one of my husband's hoodies. He's one of those people that thinks that it should be frigid before you turn on the heat in the house. Unfortunately for me, one of the side effects of the hypermobility condition I have is that if I get chilled, I end up losing circulation to my toes. So I'm not super fond of getting cold. But I'm getting hungry now, so I'm going to make myself some lunch and then I'm going to tackle the next thing on my list, which should be a little bit more fun than sitting here and writing for two hours. Now it's noon, just finished my salad, and now I'm going outside to take pictures with Lil Bell. Evie will be happy that I went out and took pictures because my dad grew what has to be the world's smallest pumpkin and she has been dying to play with it, but he gave it to me because he knew it would be the perfect size for my dolls. stuff I gotta take up with me. Okay, you're staying there then. Up we go. Here's my library. It's very dark. Most of the shelves are empty. And here is the studio. What it really looks like most of the time. Ta -da! We have to clean. It's just shy of 1.30 now, and the studio is mostly clean. So this is kind of a less formal tour than what I had originally planned on doing, but I want to show you guys where I work. Not a whole lot is different from my studio at the other house. This was the biggest addition, just more shelf space and adding another work surface. And then I built a little table in the corner over there so that I would have more space to lay things out. This has been what I use as my sculpting table. 
so all of the doll parts that I'm working on are sitting over here. Now that I'm done with most of the other things on my list, this is what I'm going to be working on today. This is normally the chunk of time that I would use to work on filming things or editing video to put my YouTube videos together. So this is a good thing for me to work on right now because I'm kind of making the video as I go. So today I think I'm going to work on Rune's faceplate because one thing that I really need to do to it is uh, start putting putty on the surface because I've sanded down the print as much as I can and there's still some rough spots so I need to putty the whole thing to smooth it out. I'm also still trying to decide if doing the head back is the right thing for this project. I started it and I'm overall happy with that but I feel like doing faceplate mechanics might not be the best idea for my very first doll head even if it's going to save me a lot of time later on because I'll just be able to use the same head backs and make new face plates. I still need to cast this one that I made for Kit My People 65 Ein. Uh, it has a couple places that were still rough that I've put more putty on so I'm going to touch those up at some point here and then finally get to priming it so that I can cast it and start getting her put together. I had considered trying to use this head back for my female face plates when I get around to finishing them and getting them printed, but I'm not entirely sure I want to do that because the mechanics used in this face plate are Fairylands Engineering and I don't want to just rip off their work even though I sculpted this from scratch. So what I may end up doing is I'll cast one of these that, you know, it's my sculpting, my work, so I can do with it whatever I want. But then I'll rework some of the engineering for like the latch and things like that to use the system that I end up designing for this one. That way it'll be all my work, my engineering, and I won't have to feel bad, but I also won't have to start over from scratch. Rillin's hands are also on the list, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing with them just yet. If I'm going to be cutting these down and making them smaller, I think I may be able to cut here and shorten the palm and get them down to a better size to suit the doll. But I'm not sure yet, and I don't really want to chop them up until I have a clear game plan. Over here is where Cornelius lives in his little bowl. And, and then I've got art supplies up here, and some artwork that I've done that I've shared on my channel in the past. I've got some artwork that's been given to me. I'm missing a couple that I ran out of thumbtacks, and I couldn't put them up. And I've got my collection of Mustangs, because they're my favorite. More artwork above the sewing machine. And the desk hasn't really changed. Everything is, is still in the same place it was, so I've got my drawers of ribbons and sewing notions there. And underneath is a bunch of face-up supplies, art supplies. This is mostly airbrushing stuff, but it's been taken over by palettes and some watercolor paint on the top because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Bottom is still paint. This stuff, we got lace and shipping supplies and packing supplies. Over here is stuff from my planner, stickers and washi tape, paper and sticker paper, more ribbon, more trims. This is a bunch of more packing supplies, pads of paper, palettes, watercolor pencils, basically long stuff that doesn't fit in anywhere else. And then more lace and trims. This is miscellaneous tools. This is like resin casting supplies. And embroidery floss, Velcro. 
open on the other side is my drawer of patterns and there's my decadent stuff and eye making stuff in there there's my sailor moon remnant stuff sewing machine feet paper cutter blades more long stuff that doesn't really fit anywhere else I've got my shelves full of fabric and I really had to cull my fabric collection when we moved because I don't have as much storage space here as I did. There's the beastly air compressor that I use for airbrushing and I decided to set up some dolls on the shelf but they are kind of a mess right now so I need to straighten them up and straighten out wigs and make them sit right and most of them do okay but for all just does what she wants. There are a few things I still need to do. I've got a bin of fabric that I need to sort out. There's a lot of scarves and things laying on top that I use for backdrops and as wrap dresses, so I need to find somewhere to put them. And then there's a couple shelves that still need to be hung. We've been here for a while, but I still haven't had a chance to paint the doors. I ran out of primer and I haven't been able to get any more just because I haven't had time. And uh, in the past I've shown pictures of my studio on Instagram and people are confused by the three doors. This one of course goes back out to the loft and the living room is down there. This one is a closet which is an absolute mess so we're not going to look in there too much but there's doll boxes and more accessories in there. And then this is what we use as the guest room, and that is a Christmas tree. My mom came to visit, and Christmas is her thing, so I thought it would be fun to try to put up the tree. I did not realize that this tree that was in the attic when we bought the house was really, really tall, so it is now stuck there because the top goes all the way to the ceiling, and I can't lift it enough to get the pieces apart, so we have to figure something out. I think what I like most about the new studio is that it's all mine. My husband's workout equipment is not in here. He's got space downstairs where he can keep it. So everything in here is my stuff and I don't have to worry about cleaning it up unless I'm going to be filming or doing a big project. I can just leave everything out for weeks at a time, which is really helpful for things like sculpting. I have to say that one thing I've always kind of disliked about vlog updates is I feel like you end up spending more time talking about what you're going to do than actually doing it. So it was important to me to be able to include bits and pieces of what I was actually doing during the day because you're here to see me work on the dolls and the stories and stuff. So I'm going to work on the dolls and you're going to get to see a bit of that.
my face hurts after having the respirator on for that long. Ouch. And those marks will go away, but they hurt. It's 2.30 now, so I gotta go get in the car line to pick up Evie. It takes forever and a half, but I take my laptop with me. That way I can work on a little bit more writing while I wait. It is 4.07 now, got the pumpkins, so I still need to do laundry and work on cover plants. When in doubt, use Trajan because that font looks good on everything, right? And the text is done, and I think the day is done too. It's 10.20 at night now, and I'm really tired. I didn't really have any downtime because I ended up spending the whole evening helping Evie with schoolwork and making dinner and you know then we have just a few minutes of snuggle time before she gets off to bed so now that almost everything off the list is done I feel like it's been an okay day but I didn't get to the laundry so I don't feel like I did very good at adulting but I did make some great progress with Rune's faceplate. It's been pretty well sanded, so I just need to give it a wet sanding to smooth out the surface of the Bondo, and then, oops, <laughs> then it'll be ready to spray with primer. After I finish the inside, of course. It's amazing in some ways how you can spend every minute of the day working and then still not really feel like you got anything done because I hardly sat down today. I uh, pretty much stayed working all day and I don't feel like I really accomplished all that much. Tomorrow is a new day though so I've already got my list written out and I'm gonna hit it hard again tomorrow morning. Right now I'm gonna get some sleep because 6 30 comes pretty early and I'm wiped out. But hey at least my studio is nice and clean so I can come in here and get right to work tomorrow morning. That's all for today though. Thanks for joining me again and I'll see you all next week.